Please wait a moment while the welcome disc loads. to the CD TV experience. Each section of the welcome disc is represented by these small symbols. This symbol represents the self-running tutorial you are watching right now. This symbol will bring up the interactive tutorial section of the welcome disc. Finally, this symbol gives you a sampling of some of the available CD TV titles. You can return to this main menu at any time by pressing the stop button on your remote control unit. To go to the next section, just press the left select button on your remote control. As you can see, the tutorial section is divided into four parts. First you're taken on a tour of the CD TV player and you will see how easy it is to use. Second, you will learn how to set the clock and adjust the picture centering. Third, since your CD TV player is more than just a CD audio disc player, you will see how to play CD audio discs and CD plus graphics discs. And finally, the accessories section will explain how to connect various accessories to your CD TV player. You will notice that the first tutorial symbol, Basic Operations, is highlighted with a pulsing green frame. Sometimes the highlight will be a frame around the symbol, or sometimes the symbol may even be animated. Sometimes you will see a pointer instead of a highlight. Use the direction button until you are pointing at the object, or until the object is highlighted. To highlight a different symbol, just press the direction button on your remote control. To activate a symbol that is highlighted, just press the A button on your remote control. Most of the time, the direction button and the left selection button will be the only buttons you will ever need. For example, to play this first section, Basic Operations, you highlight this symbol with the direction button and then press either the left selection button or the play button on your remote control. To begin the highlighted section, you could either press the left selection or A button on your remote control or you could press the play button. To go back to a previous menu, just press the B button on your remote control. To pause the tutorials at any time, just press the play pause button on your remote control. To restart the tutorials, just press the play pause button a second time. To go back to the previous item, just press the rewind button on the remote control. To skip forward to the next item, just press the fast forward button on the remote control. If you find that the remote control buttons don't seem to work properly, try pressing the Joy Mouse button once. To go to the next section, just press the left select button on your remote control. Since CDTV is a new experience, we would like to explain how easy it is to use the CDTV player. 
First, let's talk about playing discs. You probably noticed that your welcome disc was shipped inside a special plastic box called a caddy. The caddy helps to protect the CD TV discs and to ensure that they fit correctly inside the player. Never put a CD TV disc or CD audio disc into the player unless it is housed in a caddy. You could damage your CD TV player. Not all CD TV discs will come with their own caddy. Any time you wish to use a new CD TV disc or CD audio disc, you must put the disc into a caddy. To place a disc into the caddy, squeeze the corners of the caddy with one hand and gently lift the cover. Place the disc in the caddy with the label facing upwards. You can then put the caddy into the player. Most discs will begin to run automatically after a few moments. If your disc doesn't begin playing after a few moments, try ejecting the disc and reinserting it. Replacement caddies are available where you bought your player. Now let's explore your CD TV player. This is the main power button. It is used to turn your CD TV player on and off. Next to the power button, there is a small green light. When the mains power is on, this will light up. Below the power button is the headphone jack. You can listen to CD TV discs or CD audio discs with most stereo headphones. Next is the slot where you insert your CD TV or CD audio discs. You must always put the discs into a caddy before inserting them into the player. This is the eject button. When you wish to remove a disc, just press this button. This is the disc loading light. As information is flowing off a disc, this yellow light flashes on and off. Here is the display panel. It shows you time, track and volume levels. This is the remote control sensor. Infrared signals from the remote control are received here. Here is where the track, volume and clock numbers appear. Setting the clock is easy and will be covered in the next section of the tutorial. Below the display panel is a small removable cover. Inside is the slot in which you can insert a personal memory card. Personal memory cards are used by some applications to store valuable information, such as names and addresses, or game scores. To insert a personal memory card, just push it into the slot with the label side facing upwards. To remove a personal memory card after use, simply push the eject button next to the personal memory card slot. Check the instructions that come with each CD TV title for more information about using personal memory cards. These are the CD audio controls. The top button is used to start playing or to pause a CD audio disc. If you press this button while a CD audio disc is playing, it will pause. Pressing the button again will restart the disc. Below the play button is the stop button. Press this to stop a disc that is playing. Next is the skip backwards button. Each time you press this button, the CD player will go back one song or track. If you press the button and hold it down, the CD audio disc will rewind. Next is the skip forward button. Each time you press this button, the CD player will skip forward to the beginning of the next song or track. If you press and hold down the skip forward button, the disc will fast forward. This button decreases the volume. This button increases the volume. This button is for switching between CD TV and normal TV viewing. This button only works if you have your CD TV connected through the PAL or SCART connector. 
Finally, this is the reset button. If you wish to restart a CDTV title, just press this button and it will restart the title from the beginning. On the back of the player unit are the various ports and slots for connecting CDTV accessories. We will talk about each of the various accessories later in the tutorial. Now let's talk about the remote control. You will notice that some of the buttons on the remote control are the same as those on the front of the CDTV player. The power button on the remote control is the same as the power button on the front of the player. Remember that if you turn off the CDTV player with the remote control power button, you'll have to turn it back on with the remote control power button. The volume controls are identical to those on the front of the player. All of the CD audio controls are the same as those on the front of the player. You can also use the audio control buttons with many CD TV titles. The play pause button will begin a section and it will also pause a section during play. The skip back and skip forward buttons will take you back a screen or advance to the next screen. The stop button... Let me guess, it stops things. Right. This is the direction button. It is used to move the highlight around the screen, like this. It can also be used to move a pointer around the screen, like this. The number buttons are used for entering numbers, like this. This is the help button, sometimes marked escape. In most cases, pressing the help button will present you with additional options, such as help screens or menus, depending on the particular title. This is the OK button, sometimes marked enter. It is normally used to signal that you are finished with a particular action, such as entering numbers. This button is the Genlock button. A Genlock lets you mix video signals with pictures or words from the CDTV player. Like putting titles on my home videos? Exactly. If you have the optional Genlock device installed in your player, it will switch through the three Genlock modes. Check the instructions that come with your Genlock for more information about the Genlock button. The CD TV or TV button is identical to the one on the player. It is used to switch between CD TV and normal TV viewing. This is the joystick mouse button. It is used to change the way the CD TV player senses signals from the remote control. You can think of the joystick mouse button as switching between coarse or fine control modes. If you find that the remote control buttons don't seem to work properly, try pressing the joy mouse button once. These are the selection buttons. They are used for a number of things. The right selection or B button is used to go back to a previous menu. The A button, or left selection button, is used to signal that you want to activate a highlighted symbol. To activate something you are pointing to. Or to fire at aliens. To activate a symbol that is highlighted, just press the A button on your remote control. The right selection, or B button, is used to go back to a previous menu. Check the instructions for each CDTV title to see how to use the selection buttons. To go to the next section, just press the left select button on your remote control. Here you can set the clock, 
adjust the centering of the image, and choose which language you wish to use. When you first turn on the CDTV player without a disc, you'll see this screen. You can bring up this screen by pressing any button. The highlight is on the time setting box. Simply enter the time of day using the remote control number buttons. For example, if it is 1256, just select this symbol and enter 1 and 2 on the remote control. Then select this symbol and press 5 and 6 on the remote control. If you make a mistake, just enter the numbers again. Here you can then select AM, PM or 24 hour mode. If you wish to display time in 24 hour mode, you will have to enter the time using 24 hour conventions. For example, if you enter 446 and then select 24 hour mode, the CD TV player will assume that it is 446 AM. To set the player to 446 PM, you would have to enter 1646 before saving your preference settings. This is the date symbol. Here you can set the date using the number keys on the remote control. This symbol next to the clock setting boxes is used to set the image centering on the screen. To adjust the centering, highlight this symbol, press and hold down the A button on the remote control, then press the arrow buttons to move the image. This symbol is used to turn the screensaver option on or off. If you leave your CD TV player on for any length of time without performing any actions, the screensaver will automatically be activated. You can adjust the amount of time the screensaver waits before it starts running by highlighting this symbol and pressing the left selection button to cycle through the five delay settings. One minute. Five minutes. Ten minutes. Thirty minutes. Or infinity, which means that the screensaver is completely deactivated. To reactivate the title when the screensaver is running, just press the B button on the remote control. This symbol changes the display format for many CD TV titles. If you wish to record sections of a CD TV title on a VCR, try activating this symbol first. This symbol is used to turn the audio click option on or off. If the option is on, then you will hear a click whenever you press any button on the remote control. Here you can choose the language that your CD TV player should use. To select a language, first highlight this symbol. Then press and hold the A button. Now press the arrow keys to move the list of languages up or down. To save any preference changes and exit the preferences screen, just press the OK button, sometimes marked Enter, on the remote control. Note that if the CD TV player is unplugged from the mains, the preference settings will return to the factory default settings. To go to the next section, just press the left select button on your remote control. Now let's take a look at the CD TV audio panel. Your CD TV player can be used to play regular CD audio discs as well as playback CD plus graphics discs. To play a CD, just put the disc into a caddy and insert it into your CD TV player. You will see this screen. This box shows you the current track number here is the time display. 
it changes to show the elapsed time of the current track, remaining time of the current track, elapsed time of the entire disk, or remaining time of the entire disk. Here is the disk time symbol. It lets you pick how you want the time information displayed. Selecting this symbol will cycle through the various disk time displays. Elapsed time of the current track. Remaining time of the current track. Elapsed time of the entire disk. Or remaining time of the entire disk. This display shows you what mode the player is in. Stopped. Playing. Paused. Skipping back. Or skipping forward. This is the preview symbol. It allows you to hear the first 10 seconds of each track. This is the loop symbol. When selected, your player loops through the tracks displayed in the track order display. The loop symbol can also be used to replay a small segment of a song. While the CD audio disc is playing, move the highlight to the loop symbol. Press the A button on the remote control to mark the beginning of the segment. The loop symbol will light up. When you reach the end of the segment, select the loop symbol again. The segment will then begin to play over and over until you select the loop button again. This is the CD graphics and CD plus MIDI symbol. If you have a CD plus graphics disc in the player, select this symbol to show the visuals on your TV screen or send the MIDI signals to a MIDI device. Just select this button and press the play button on your remote control. Here is the track order display. It shows you which tracks will play and in what order. If there are more tracks on a disc than will fit in the track order display, you can scroll through the list to see the rest. This is the randomizer symbol. When selected, it automatically randomizes the order of the tracks in the track order display. This is the track order symbol. Selecting this symbol once turns off all the numbers in the track order display. You can then turn individual tracks on or off by highlighting the number and pressing the left selection button. When you play the disc you will hear only those tracks that are turned on in the track order display. Pressing the track order symbol a second time will clear the track order display. You can then use the number buttons on your remote control to enter any track sequence you wish. Just enter each track number and press the OK button after each selection. Pressing the track order symbol a third time will reset the track order display. So the first time turns them all off. And I can turn on the tracks I want to hear just by clicking on them. Exactly. The second time clears the display and I can enter tracks in any order I want. Correct. The third time sets it all back to normal, right? That's right. So, how do I start playing a CD after I set all these things? Just press the play button on the remote control. To go to the next section, just press the left select button on your remote control. In this section, we will explain how to connect various accessories to your CD TV player.
Remember to disconnect the unit from the mains power before connecting any accessory to your CDTV player. On the back of your CDTV player, there are a number of ports and connectors for attaching different accessories. On the lower left is the power receptacle for connecting the AC power cord. Next is the remote control port. This is where you would connect an optional remote control device using a cable. Above the power cord receptacle is the keyboard port. This is for connecting an optional CDTV computer style keyboard. The keyboard can also be used with an optional infrared remote controller. There are other optional accessory controllers available such as an infrared trackball controller and an infrared game controller. Next are the left and right audio connectors. These can be attached to a TV, VCR or stereo system. To connect your CDTV player to a stereo using the audio cables that came with your CDTV player. Connect the audio cable to the left and right audio outputs on the back of your CDTV player as shown. Then connect the other left and right connections to the audio inputs of your amplifier, stereo VCR or stereo TV. If you don't have a stereo VCR or TV and you wish to use the audio out ports on the CD TV player, you will have to purchase a Y adapter cable from an electronics or video store. First connect the stereo audio cable to the back of the CD TV player as shown. Then connect the two leads from the Y adapter cable to the left and right audio cables. Finally, connect the single lead from the Y adapter cable to your VCR or TV. Here is the floppy disk drive port. If you wish to turn your CD TV player into a computer, this is where you connect an optional CD TV floppy disk drive. Here is the serial port. This is for connecting accessories such as a printer. Here is the parallel port. It is where you would connect a device such as a parallel printer. There are four different types of video signals that you can send to a television set, VCR or monitor. They are RF or radio frequency signals, which are compatible with almost all television sets. Like the signals from an antenna or cable TV. Composite video signals, which are of a higher quality and are compatible with many late model television sets and VCRs. Like the video out and the video in. S-type video signals, which give a still better picture and are compatible with the most advanced television sets and VCRs. S stands for super. And RGB video signals, which can be sent to a computer monitor. RGB stands for red, green, blue. Here is the RGB video port. This port only sends video signals to a computer monitor. To connect your CD TV player to an Amiga computer monitor using the RGB port. Your Amiga RGB monitor will come with its own RGB cable. If you do not have an Amiga RGB monitor cable, you will have to purchase an Amiga RGB cable from a computer store. Connect one end of the Amiga RGB cable to the RGB port on the back of the CD TV player. Connect the other end of the Amiga RGB cable to the RGB monitor. Since the RGB connections only send video information, you will have to connect the audio ports 
to your stereo, VCR or TV. Refer to the audio port section of the interactive tutorial for more information on connecting audio equipment. Here is the S video connector. Again, this sends only video signals. To connect your CD TV player to a TV or VCR using the S video port, you will have to purchase an S video cable from an electronics or video store. Connect one end of the S video cable to the S video port on the back of the CD TV player. Connect the other end of the S video cable to the S video in port on your VCR or TV. Since the S video connections only send video information, you will have to connect the audio ports to your stereo, VCR or TV. Refer to the audio port section of the interactive tutorial for more information on connecting audio equipment. This is the composite video connector. To connect your CD TV player to a TV or VCR using the composite video, sometimes referred to as video out or video in, you will have to purchase a composite video cable from an electronics or video store. Connect one end of the composite video cable to the composite video port on the back of the CD TV player. Connect the other end of the composite video cable to the video in port on your VCR or TV. Since the composite video connections only send video information, you will have to connect the audio ports to your stereo, VCR or TV. Refer to the audio port section of the interactive tutorial for more information on connecting audio equipment. If your CD TV player is configured for PAL TV sets, you will see connectors like this. This is where you would connect an outside TV antenna or cable TV cable. This is the PAL signal connector. This sends both video and audio signals to your TV set. This is the composite video connector. To connect your CD TV player to a TV or VCR using the composite video, sometimes referred to as video out or video in. You will have to purchase a composite video cable from an electronics or video store. Connect one end of the composite video cable to the composite video port on the back of the CD TV player. Connect the other end of the composite video cable to the video in port on your VCR or TV. Since the composite video connections only send video information, you will have to connect the audio ports to your stereo, VCR or TV. Refer to the audio port section of the interactive tutorial for more information on connecting audio equipment. If your CD TV player is configured for SCART TV sets, you will see a connector like this. This is the SCART signal connector. This sends both video and audio signals to your TV set. Here is the RF connector. This sends both video and audio signals to the RF converter that came with your CD TV player. Next is the switch to change which channel RF signals will be sent to your television. If you are using the RF converter, you can adjust your TV set and this switch to either channel 3 or channel 4. Finally, these are the MIDI in and MIDI out ports. They are for connecting to MIDI devices such as electronic keyboards, drum machines, or other devices that accept MIDI control. Be sure to read the instructions that come with any CD TV accessory or external device 
for more information on its connection and use. This is the interactive tutorial section of the Welcome Disc. It is divided into five parts. The front of the CD TV player, the remote control, the audio panel, the preferences screen, and the accessories. To find information about a specific button, port, or function, just move the highlight to the desired item, then press the A button on the remote control. To return to the interactive tutorials menu from one of the five sections, just press the B button on the remote control. You can also return to the interactive tutorials menu from anywhere on the welcome disk by pressing the help button, sometimes marked escape. Now let's talk about the remote control. To activate a symbol that is highlighted, just press the A button on your remote control. To go back to a previous menu, just press the B button on your remote control. This is the direction button. It is used to move the highlight around the screen like this. It can also be used to move a pointer around the screen, like this. This is the help button, sometimes marked escape. In most cases, pressing the help button These are the selection. On the back of your CD TV player, there are a number of ports and connectors for attaching. This is the CDTV title section of the Welcome Disc. It is divided into different product categories. Just highlight the category symbol and press the Let Selection button to see an assortment of CDTV titles. Reference The American Heritage Illustrated Encyclopedic Dictionary. Over 180,000 entries in this electronic book are enhanced with several thousand illustrations. Every word presented on your TV screen is linked easily to all other references to that word, turning the material into an exploratorium of the English language. Timetable of Science and Innovation. Explore the history of science and technology following your own path through this immense body of knowledge. Over 6,000 stories, thousands of graphics and a wealth of multimedia effects are included. View the animated map. Watch a liftoff from the surface of the Earth and listen to significant comments related to the major scientific events in history. Timetable of Business, Politics and Media 
This title is devoted to the energies invested in the acquisition of wealth, power and knowledge over man's history. It contains 6,000 stories, thousands of quotes, images and reproduced documents plus multimedia effects. This material was recently enhanced to add up-to-date information regarding the 1991 Persian Gulf conflict. The new Grolier Electronic Encyclopedia. Take the definitive encyclopedia text, Grolier's Academic American Encyclopedia. Add the multimedia elements of historical pictures, detailed maps, colorful illustrations, lifelike sounds, and the storage of the CDTV disc. Access it via your remote controller, and you have the most versatile home reference tool yet. World Vista Atlas incorporates detailed maps and facts from Rand McNally's most recent edition of World Facts and Maps. In addition, you can view over 1,000 professionally photographed images and listen to music from around the world. A collection of sample phrases from over 50 languages can be heard. A great guide to plan your next holiday or explore the world from your armchair. The complete works of Shakespeare. From the comfort of your armchair, you can read the complete works of the world's greatest playwright. Plays, poems, and sonnets. All major scenes are illustrated with reproductions of beautiful original woodcuts. The usability is enhanced by instant searches for words and phrases, an exciting addition to your electronic library. The illustrated Holy Bible contains the complete text of the Old and New Testaments with full-color illustrations in an easy-to-use form. Instant search facilities allow you to use your remote controller to have any Bible passage, chapter and verse at your fingertips. The New Basics Electronic Cookbook this innovative title features the recipes from the Silver Palette Collection and informed audio advice from the well-known authors Shirley Rosso and Sheila Lukens. Choose a recipe by specific ingredients or for a special occasion or simply browse through the rich collection of illustrations. Dr. Wellman Family Health Advisor. This useful disc covers all the areas of family health care relevant to a family in a simple, friendly manner, including graphics, animation voice and music in addition to text. It covers a wide variety of medical topics, including first aid, traveling abroad, dental care and most importantly, a wealth of information to help keep you and your family healthy. Entertainment Battle Chess Set strategy into motion with animated characters battling for position on the board. Traditional chess with 10 levels of play and an opening library of 30,000 moves is enhanced with colorful, dramatic graphics. Classic board games. Whether you're in the mood for an enthralling game of chess, have a hankering for a good old-fashioned game of drafts, or prefer a rousing game of backgammon, the classic board games on this disc are for you. Audio directions and play-by-play -play are provided in six languages.
All dogs go to heaven. Electric talking crayon transforms your television into an electronic colouring book with 30 delightful pictures enhanced with spoken words and song. This disc tells the story of Charlie B. Barkin, the roguish German shepherd, who is the star of the Don Bluff film, All Dogs Go to Heaven. Ninja High School. Ninja High School is a tongue-in-cheek comic book on a CD-TV disc. Jeremy Freeple, an otherwise normal American kid, gets involved with the strangest characters when a princess from outer space and the daughter of the secret ninja society start competing for his affections. Hundreds of pages, hours of fun, and much better looking than those turtles. Dinosaurs for hire. What happens when three out-of-time, gun-toting dinosaurs hit the streets? Bullets fly, evildoers tremble, and insurance rates go through the roof. Dinosaurs for Hire is another in a series of comic books on disc. Hundreds of pages, thousands of screens, and more laughs than you can shake a Tyrannosaurus at. Sim City puts you in charge as both the mayor and city planner in this real-time simulation game. Build the city of your dreams and help it evolve through three time periods from the Wild West to the future. This is your chance to be in charge. Falcon the powerful Falcon F-16 takes you streaking across the TV skies at Mach 2. The accurate weapons, heads-up displays, cockpit controllers and overall flight characteristics make this the ultimate in simulations. You can choose to fly any of 36 different missions in three combat theatres. Get set for the flight of your life. Airwave Adventure, Flight of the Cautious Condor is an interactive mystery where you explore hundreds of images, hours of audio and thousands of possibilities as you try to discover the murderer. You have only 30 minutes to solve the crime on the 1937 maiden voyage of the luxury flying ship Condor. Psycho Killer, a CD TV thriller. It's a cold autumn evening. Around the corner on the country road, a car lies tipped at an unusual angle. You skid to a halt to look for victims of the accident. There is no one. Suddenly from a distance, you hear a desperate scream. Confront the psycho killer. Rescue his intended victim and escape, if you can, in this exciting CD TV thriller. Defender of the Crown is an interactive tale of brave knights whose days are filled with daring jousts. Breathtaking sword fights, beautiful damsels in distress, and enemy castle sieges. Choose your champion and try your best, accompanied by full orchestrated stereo music, speech and sound effects, and breathtaking illustrations. Snoopy, the case of the missing blanket, is a colourful, fully interactive cartoon for Snoopy fans of all ages. Help Snoopy play detective, find Linus's missing blanket and return it to Linus, who, as lovers of the Peanuts characters well know, is most upset at misplacing it. Sherlock Holmes, consulting detective, Capture the mystery and excitement of Holmes London in this challenging and informative game. Match your deductive abilities against the master sleuth himself. Search the London Times for clues. Watch and listen as Holmes and Watson interrogate potential suspects at your request. Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective is not just a game, it's an experience. 
spirit of Excalibur is an epic quest to restore the grandeur and glory of Arthur's round table, accompanied by a grand Wagnerian musical score. You explore over 100 beautifully illustrated, unique locations and listen to the conversations of the colourful cast of characters in this rich adventure game. Murder anyone? Who killed Derek Reardon? Crack the alibis of the eight suspects. Sixteen different stories make up this CDTV disc, each with a unique solution. Xenon 2. Mega Blast. For a thousand years, the Zenites have been plotting revenge for their humiliating defeat in the last galactic conflict. Now they are back, and only you can save the day. All of your arcade skills will be tested by this graphic and audio marvel. Three-dimensional sound will become apparent when you connect your CD TV player to your stereo or headphones. Unreal is a magical fantasy arcade game in which you must destroy the Master of Darkness and control the four elements which are creating chaos on the planet Unreal. Unreal is a beautiful fantasy world with stunning 2D and 3D graphics and incredible sound effects, a place to spend hours of your leisure time. Pro Tennis Tour 2 offers more options than the average player encounters in the real world. Choose from a variety of opponents, male and female. Various court surfaces, personal skill levels including strengths and weaknesses, and singles, doubles, or even dirty mode triples. Education. My Paint is an easy to use, teacher approved and classroom tested paint package which has been designed especially for young children. Sounds, surprise pictures and special effects accompany the over 100 pictures to be coloured which teach the alphabet, phonetics, reading skills and other concepts. Mind Run includes fun and challenging tests to sharpen your capabilities in memory, stress, listening, reflexes, logic and understanding of machines. Have fun while improving your capabilities. This graphical challenge will engage you for many hours. LTV English helps to learn English as a second language. Conceived for use in a family setting, it helps to improve oral comprehension for many levels of competence. Over 30 situations and more than 150 exercises are included. North Polar Expedition simulates a journey to the pole with real pictures and sounds from actual Arctic expeditions. In a race against time, the players take on the roles of leader, navigator, pilot, and so on, and must work together to make decisions to succeed in their quest. Music Music Maker Anybody and everybody will be able to play music in minutes using this exciting disc. Choose one of the 17 song tracks, select from over 40 instruments and play along. There's a level for everyone, one key play for beginners, melody play for the more musical and free play mode for the talented or brave. The CD quality audio tracks are accompanied by changing graphics. You can even play the drums with any of your favourite CDs.
CD plus G. Did you know that there were graphics on many audio compact discs? You may even have some of these in your own collection. On a CD TV player, you can see these exciting graphics. They add a whole new dimension to your audio enjoyment. Ask your local record shop about titles featuring CD plus G. Arts and Leisure Our House is a fascinating window into a typical American home at various times in history, exploring how everyday objects are used and what preceded them encourages the family to enjoy and experience where the past is remembered, the future is imagined and family histories are treasured. Garden Facts Indoor Plants Designed to answer the questions of household plant enthusiasts and novices. Over 200 plants and their cultural details are presented through full-color pictures and text. Garden Facts Fruits, Vegetables and Herbs Another in the gardening series includes planting and harvesting times growing conditions and so forth for over 170 horticultural plants. Garden Facts Garden Plants More than 400 bedding and bordering plants are presented in this title. You can make your selection based on colour, height, planting and flowering time, light and soil conditions, etc. Garden Facts Trees shrubs, roses and conifers. Select from over 300 plants in this category. As with the others in the series, this title includes audiovisual clips that provide how-to information on many gardening topics. Animated coloring book. Use up to 64 on-screen crayons to create beautiful pictures using a variety of outlines including cats, dogs and elephants. With a click, you bring your picture to life through animation. Animated coloring book. Animated coloring book. Use up to six.